Hey guys, how are you? You know you're tired when you put your keys down and you can't find them, there they are. All right, you guys, I just finished water aerobics and I gotta tell you, it's so funny. Oh my gosh, woohoo! That must be uh, Katy Perry's new song. That's the first time I've heard it. Um, so, you guys, water aerobics. Water aerobics! Um, I loved the class. Love, love, loved. I loved the format. I loved everything about it. Um, so funny, you guys. I just absolutely freaking love Tucson. Um, it is just one of, I don't know, it's just, it's literally becoming. It's literally becoming, um, oh wow, that sunset is so freaking pretty. I think I need to pull over here and take a picture of the sunset. It's just like to die for. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to I'm gonna spin this around, see if you can see that. Let me see if you can see that sunset. Can you see that sunset? Let's see if you can see it. Can you see it? Here. Isn't that pretty? I kind of feel like you're not really able to see it. Let me just see. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you see those clouds? Dude, the clouds here are just like, they're so beautiful. It's so funny, you guys. It's feeling like fall already. There's like uh, a crispness in the air. Not like, um, not like cold, cold, but just like you can just tell that the weather's changing and um, but man, you guys, I am freaking in love. Uh, I forget how much I freaking love water aerobics. I used to teach that in college and uh, out of college. And um, oh my gosh. In fact, I have to tell you, uh, between coaching my water aerobics and coaching master swim and teaching swim lessons... I mean, freaking like eat it up, like love it. You guys, swimming is so amazing for your body on so many different levels. Spinal injuries, cervical injuries, hip injuries, knee injuries. Um, to be in a non-weighted environment like that and to be able to like open your hips and your body, it's just so good, it's so good. It's so good for you, it can get your heart rate up. Um, neuromuscularly, it's great for your brain. You really can see where there are motor imbalances and uh, just by doing simple coordination drills. Uh, in fact, you can really see where there's uh, strong imbalances. Just amazing, 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 amazing. Some of the really neat things too, just about uh, the water is that it kind of gives it was it, it wasn't it was really well said by this lady that was in the hot tub afterwards she said you know I came to work out and I really wasn't looking forward to working out so I just I saw the water class and I thought well I'll just do that and she said mentally like it was more appealing to her than going to like there was a yoga class too at the same time and then there's a step class where that stuff can be sometimes really jarring on your body that's the only thing I'm, I'm gonna be trying out to teach all these other classes but um my philosophy is just I'm so in I have such a rehab background that you know I'm definitely going to put a spin on how I teach my classes just because that's how I I just I would rather have it be form over over function um there's this thing it's I don't know what they call it I used to call it the seahorse where you kind of go from one leg to the other leg to the other leg and um the only thing with that is um, there was people they were trying so hard to just like outdo their numbers that their form wasn't really good. They were kind of like, you got to really work on your lower abdominals, pulling in your abdominals. You want your grip as light as you can on the on the uh, dumbbells in the water so you don't have any like, because if you have carpal tunnel or anything like that, it can actually exacerbate that flexor retinaculum and that whole area. Um, but the teacher was so sweet and so kind and just a little, she reminded me of Tinkerbell. <laughs> I 
I mean, she was just this cute little thing, which is like little muscles, strong and mighty, and just really, really sweet. Anyway, um, yeah, it was uh, it was a, it was a fun class. It was a fun, fun, fun class. But it was amazing because uh, I really saw my hips really open up. I did things a little bit different than how she was instructing, but I always do that because I, I just I listen to my body. And one of the things that I do before I teach any class is I just really want people to be in touch and inside their body, really paying attention to their form, paying attention to their shoulders, their feet, their knees, their alignment, and just you know squeezing like right now you guys look down at your feet are, are is one foot toed out more than the other one are your toes lined like this do you internally rotate on one side do you externally rotate on one side do you externally rotate on both sides do you internally rotate on both sides you want to look at the at your uh, gait pattern and then based on that you can strengthen what's weak and stretch out what's tight it's the basic philosophy and um, the other thing is just your, even if you like, oh gosh, Kita, that's, that's too complicated. I don't know how to do that. Just when you're going through ranges of motion, like right now, as you're sitting watching this, I want you to think about squeeze your, squeeze your left glute, so your left butt cheek. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Can I relax? Now squeeze the right side. Squeeze, 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 now relax. Now squeeze both sides. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. You see one side squeezing quicker than the other side? The side that's squeezing harder and quicker is the stronger side. So the side that isn't quite as engaged, um, generally speaking, now you have the glute me minimus, medius, and maximus. So there's a lot of different things. You have your psoas, your QLO. Um, you have various, uh, you have your rectus femoris. You have various muscles that can integrate around that and can significantly impact uh those strength numbers. So I'm just I'm just speaking in general terms. But if you have a side that's not, say it doesn't, uh, it's not as strong as the other side. Then what you want to just do, like right now I'm sitting at a red light, you want to squeeze that side that's not quite as strong as the other side. So, you know, just little things like that. I like to integrate into my class. So if 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 we're doing a movement, a range of motion, I want my students to just really key in and focus on form because form is really important. Uh, repetitions and speed and all that is just not as important. I can slow down and still get your heart rate up by having you uh, sit in your tempo, which is the rate of speed in which the exercise is executed, and have you really sit back in that. Um, anyway, I'm really super excited about teaching uh, possibility with this swim company, teaching swimming lessons. I'm also excited to talk to them about doing some maybe... Uh, functional orthopedic rehab in aqua in the water because that's like my jam that's how I rehabbed myself out of every single accident I've ever been in I started in the water and um, the water is just amazing and you can just have such a good workout and it's funny because mentally it's like um, oh whoa hold on a second mentally mentally uh, Mentally, you can, um, oh, a bus broke down. Mentally, you can, uh, you can, um, it just, it's like, I don't know, for some reason, and it does, it's like, oh, I'm just going to go do a water aerobic class. You can kind of go as hard or as easy as you want. But it's so funny, um, and it's been like this every gym I've ever been to that has a water aerobics program. The water aerobics attendees are like super hardcore. They're hardcore guys. They are, um, they're definitely, it's so cute. They're like, and they're, they've been like this in every gym I've ever gone to. If you want to know about a class in water aerobics, like what they like, you want to ask them, you know, what do you like? What do you, what do you like? What types of things do you like in the class? And uh, they're the ones that are always, they'll put your feet on right. So I was asking them and they were like, they love a lot of change. They like new things. They like different things. And that's so funny because literally like I'm going to go for these tryouts on Friday and I guarantee you whatever I do or plan to do on Friday, I probably won't do in the in the interview because I'm, I literally am so intuitive with like who is in front of me or whatever that I always uh, will change uh, depending on that. And also it's just a great opportunity to be able to just help 
uh, people, uh, individuals that need to have strength and conditioning in and around their joint. So it's exciting. I'm excited. I'm really, really super excited. Um, it would just be really neat to get really grounded here in Tucson. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. So you guys, I will know more. I'm going to take you along on all my interview process. You are going to be right alongside me um, with everything I do. And um, I want to encourage you too. Is there something that you want to do? Is there an area that you want to work on that maybe is, um, has been a little bit challenging to you or you're, you know, you're like me, you're just going to kind of get out there and start doing the interview process. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's unite. Let's work together. Let's inspire each other. Let's empower each other. Let's, um, let's just go after it, you guys. So leave in the comments below. I love to say hi to Josephine, Clark Dixon, Polly. Um, there we go. Gorgeous. Oh, you guys, it's like, it's so cool out there. The sun, the way that the sun is uh, coming down, it's just amazing. It's amazing, amazing. Aw, there's a little couple. They're walking with their little baby. Aw. They look like it's just a little tiny little baby and she's out. She looked like she just had him. She didn't look too happy. But you know what? When you just have a baby, not that I know, but uh, she's so cute. She looks exhausted. Exhausted, exhausted. Oh, no. Um, Rats. What is that like that for? Huh. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to have to like, I'm going to have to sign off because my, uh, there's something in my driveway here. I love you guys so much. Remember to stand in your light, stand in your truth. And above all else, be a warrior. I love you guys. Ciao, ciao.